Hi, today I'm going to talk about problem that many people face with internet and that that they don't have a reception in some places in their house. So this is particularly in the basement and that's because the Wi-Fi signal is too low or it's too small. So today what I want to show you is how I'm going to connect the basement to the Ethernet network in such a way that we're going to have a internet in the basement. So in order to do it, I actually purchased from Amazon a number of cables, which I show you here. This is a category seven Ethernet cable. This is a category six Ethernet cable, and this is a category six Ethernet cable for extension. Okay, so I will talk to you about it later, but. I just want to tell you that uh, I purchased category 7 100 feet because the distance for my network connection to the basement is roughly 70 feet. So I had to buy a 100 feet um, cable and this cable actually can actually, uh, category 7 is can reach to 100 feet uh, distance, which category 6 cannot because the uh, noise on category 6, which is, is too high to reach 100 feet. So, and this is category 6 cable that I'm going to connect also inside the, the basement. I want to show you later how I'm going to do it. And that is another category 6, which is a kind of extension. So this is 10 feet extension. And this is a 25 feet cable, Ethernet category 6. And this is a hundred feet category seven. So here I'm holding in my hand the two cable. I want to show the difference between of them because you will not going to be it's not going to be difficult for you to make the distinguish. So this is a category uh, seven, as you can see, thin, and this is category five, category six, which is a little bit circular and it's like fat. Uh, cable okay both of them have the same similar connection so it's not worry about it but that's the difference between both of them category 7 is better but it's more expensive so here is my uh, electrical diagram which I want to show you you can see a provider okay the cable of the provider going from the provider which is AT&T or Comcast or others to your modem here is your modem and for the modem, usually it's going directly to the router or with the Wi-Fi. Okay, that's the Wi-Fi here and that's the router. And from the router you have connection, number of connection. One of connection can go to the PC and the other one can go to other PC, etc. Okay, and there is another connection that I'm going to use here. It's going to be 70 feet. It will go from here, from this router to the basement and will connect to a switch. This switch I also bought from Amazon. I will show you it later. So as you can see, it's 70 feet and that is a CAT7, okay? CAT7 cable, category seven. And from the switch, I'm going to connect with category six to different room. There's room one, room two in the basement. And there is going to be a living room. I'm going to put another Wi-Fi router here in the living room. So that is my plan, how to provide an internet to the basement. And uh, from that one, we're going to follow what I'm doing in order to get it. This is the service provider Ethernet cable model that's coming to the house. We actually connected here, as you can see, to another cable, white cable from here, because it was too short. Okay, and it's going here until it reach here. This is the modem. Okay, so with this modem, we have a connection that go out from the modem to this Wi-Fi. Let me show you. So as you can see, this is the cable, which is category Wi-Fi, I believe, that connected, going here and reach here to the Wi-Fi router here. Okay, 
There's another router Wi-Fi that I have here that connected in daisy chain to here. So I'm actually have two Wi-Fi in this uh, house, but none of them reach to the basement. Look carefully here, you can see this is the Wi-Fi router and you can see cable. This is the cable coming from the modem. This cable going to the PC. Okay, and this cable really going to this router. Okay, so um, there is another spot here that I can use in order to connect the basement either from here or I can actually also connect it from here because both of these uh, router connected by daisy chain. So I will decide which one is better for me, but I might going to use this port in order to connect the Ethernet cable that go from here to the basement. So here is another uh, plate, which means it's a plug plate that I purchased in Amazon. And what I want to show here, here you have a connection to a TV cable or Comcast cable. And here you have an internet or ethernet connection as you can see here and this one come only with this i purchased it only with one ethernet connection so this is a this one is good for if you have a tv cable and you want to connect and also you want to connect ethernet and this one also only for ethernet connection so it's very nice to buy stuff like that it's, a, it's actually in amazon and i want to show how it's work so if you have and this uh, internet connection, okay, what you're doing is just put it here and it's inside and then from the other side you connect, okay, the other internet, okay, and you have a connection here. So that's the way it's working. So that's very useful. You really need to buy them. If you really want to have an internet connection, you need to think about buy these or that. So here's my window, as you can see, I'm in the second floor, and the basement actually is kind of far away from here. And what I'm going to do here, as you can see, I'm going to drill a hole. I already marked it here, here, which means what I did, I, take, I took this plate, okay, and I just put it here, okay, I mark it to be exactly the same height of it, okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a hole here and pass this uh, category 7, 100 feet cable, Ethernet cable to the basement. And that's what I want to show you how I'm going to do it. This cable that's coming actually from Comcast, that's the service provider for me. So this is the bit I'm using, it's a three quarter of an inch. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually drill through the wall and this is exterior wall so it will go outside of the house i just want to show you that i really have to use an extension here you can see the extension so i actually have uh, an extension for this bit because it was exactly four four inch so i have to in increase it but if you're going down you can see it's difficult, but you, oh, here it is. You can see that the hole here is going outside, so you can see the light here. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the wire now and just pass it through. So here what I'm doing, I'm taking this Ethernet category 7 Ethernet cable and just start to push it until it reaches the other side. And that's it. So this is the one we can actually pull it. And I will show you from, from downstairs how it's gone. Let's see from outside what we see there. So as you can see, you can see two wires here, okay? One of them to the right, which is Comcast cable. And one of them is the left. That is the wire that we just passed through. That is the Ethernet category 7 wire, okay? And as you can see, there is a hole that I drilled there. It's a three quarter of an inch hole. I will need to seal it with foam later after I'm going to finish installation of this cable into the basement. So what you can see here, it's the Comcast cable also. It's an old time. It was going to the basement. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to drill another hole 
okay here that is leading to the basement okay so I want to show where is my basement uh, actually located but this all actually is going to the ceiling of the basement which is the corner let me show you how the basement located so here is my basement it's actually here okay see this concrete behind it there is a basement okay and it's going until here and this is the basement here until I'm reaching to the door of the basement okay and that is my door to the basement this is the window to the basement and that is the other side of the basement here where they are conditioned sitting okay so it's another window here and so this uh, basement is quite big it's actually almost uh, 1500 square feet but it's not under the ground it's only partially under the ground mostly it's above the ground yep. So here is the hole that I did, as you can see here. I show you it's here, that's the hole. And also we're going to seal it with a foam after we install the Ethernet cable. So this is the hole I actually drill for the basement. We're going here for the basement and I just want to show you what I'm doing. I'm trying to push it in to where the basement. And I believe it's there already. A little bit tricky. Okay, so that's it. So let me see if it's in the basement. So here you can see the Ethernet cable, the category 7 actually, go inside to the basement. And here is the... I'm here in the basement. See how long it is? It's actually at least 30 to 40 feet. Easy. Okay. We're going to pull this uh, wire Ethernet toward the switch. I uh, pass the wire or install the wire in the basement. Just it's in the basement. I want to check if there is internet in the basement. So what I'm going to do here, you see, it's not connected here this cable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it from here, okay? And I'm going to connect it directly to the router. So as you can see here, there is another connection here. So I'm taking this wire and I'm connecting it directly to the router here okay so it's here okay so now I'm going to the basement and we'll check if there is internet and what is the speed so here is the internet here as you can see is the cable is here going from the basement from here coming to the basement to the main living room of the basement and we're coming here to the computer and you can see the speed is actually 82.1 uh, that is download and upload is 11 megabit per second so it's working perfectly so look what i'm doing now you see because this is the wire it's a hundred uh, category seven hundred feet and it's going to be on the wall so what i want to do i want to do something else now i want to connect category 6. I want to show you what I want to do. So I'm removing the wire here, the category 7. Okay, this is a category 6 wire, okay? And you can see it's actually not connected. Okay? So what I'm doing here, I'm taking this wire. Let me show you what I'm doing. You see this plate that's going to be on the wall and the category 7 is going to be really inside it. Okay, on the wall. What's going to happen here is a category 6 wire and it's going to connect to the wall as follow. So here is the category 7 is connected to the plate. You see it's the output of the plate. 
the input to the plate going to be category six. So what I'm doing here, I'm actually going here and I just connect it here, as you can see. So what's happening here, really, the category six, which is this wire, okay, if you're going like that and like that, you take it here, is actually here. This is the wire is connected here. So it's going from category six to the category 700 feet, and that will feed the basement. So let's see if it's work. So what we have here, we have the category six, going all the way here, sorry about the mess of the wire here, and it's going here, you can see, if you're going close to it, here, okay, to, to this here, correct, and from here, it's category seven, okay, and that's the way we're going to test to see if it's worked properly. We're going to go to the basement to check if there is an internet and what is the speed. Remember, it was 81 megabit per second. So as you can see, it's 87, 88 point mm -hmm. nine, and the upload is 10.6. So we have your internet very nicely with cut six connected to cut seven. If you see, it can, it can work pro properly. So here is the plate with the cable and you see this hole, I had to correct it a little bit to increase it a little bit in order to put the, this plate inside properly so you can see that's it. So that's the way it looks from the room on the second floor where is the, that is the really source of the internet here. So I already put here one screw and that's the only screw I can use actually, I cannot, I didn't have a white screw and here is the second screw remember I actually screw it to or attach it to the drywall here, I don't use any box okay it's a wood screw by the way so that's it, that's the way it looks from here